Look at these two fighting. I mean, what's the point? Why are you guys fighting? Why? Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here. So, last time, welcome back to Spyro by the way. Last time, um, we not only completed the Artisan's world by beating Toasty and everything, but we made it here to the Peacekeepers and defeated, or defeated, uh, completed the main, um, realm. And hang on a second. Give me one second. One second. Yeah, I don't know how it, this. I don't know how it's gonna sound because my mic is acting kind of weird to tell the truth. And speaking of which, um, the last few episodes, if you heard a constant noise, you know, the Logitech's mic was actually up against my mouth, and I just was too stupid to realize it was on my mouth and I didn't pull it away so it should be fine now so uh, anyway uh, today in Spyro we're going to go somewhere and that somewhere being Dry Canyon let's go okay here we are Alright, let's see. You got these cacti here. You can flame them, but... Yeah, they do that, so, uh... Alright, let's get started. Ooh, can I hit him from here? I don't know if I can hit him from here. I'm gonna see if I can hit him from here. Nope. Alright, uh... This guy up here. This is a Nork Musketeer. Much like the Nork soldiers from um, Dark Hollow, they got a shield. So you either charge them or flame them when their shield is down. Because they take a while to shoot their musket. Get that. Uh, is there... Nope, there's nothing back here. Hello, Jackrabbits. Jazz Jackrabbit. Alright. Wow, these guys are sleeping on the job. Alright, there's another musketeer over there. I'm saying musketeer even though they don't have swords. Okay, so... There's an egg thief here and I'm gonna go get him. Should be... There he is! Come here, you! Oops. Try not to fall into the tar. Come here! Come here! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're gonna be my best friend. There we go. Four dragon eggs. All right, let's head over here and get these gems. Uh, okay. There's a dragon there. I'll get him in a bit. All right, you come here. And you, tell me what's going on. Conan the Barbarian Dragon. Thank you for releasing me. I did not imagine Conan the Barbarian Dragon having a voice like that. Okay, uh, let's go up first before we head down. Burr oh, oh, he got me. Good shot. Oh, that. You saw that bird there. I'll explain about that later. Uh, let's see. More gems, of course. Oh! That guy is a bird wangler, and yeah, he's using this poor bird as a, um, as a weapon. That poor bird. Oh, I thought I saw another musket bullet. Ah, here we are. So, um, okay, uh, these birds. Okay, so here's something funny about these birds. They look like vultures. And you'd be thinking, why haven't I not called them vultures instead of birds? Well, funny thing is, the official guide of the game refer these enemies as falcons. And I don't know if that's because that's an error, or if they actually intended them to be falcons, but they clearly look like vultures. I mean, yeah, vultures are birds of prey, but they're not like falcons. Um, vultures? But yeah, in this level at least I call them vultures because, I don't know, a dry canyon bed sounds like the perfect place for vultures. And let me get this. 
Sounds like a perfect place to get dead animals dying in a dry canyon with no water whatsoever. There's a life up there. I'll go get that momentarily. Get these gems. And save... Ivor! Is that you, Spyro? Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. <laughs> and hang on a second. Let me turn down the volume. I forgot to do that before I started recording. There we go. All right. And now let's continue. Here and okay. Get these chest. Can't get on these. Uh, we'll go over there momentarily. Let's go over here. Whoops! Messed up my gliding. I don't know how that happened. Man, I should have brought myself some water. Thank you for the life. Eleven lives. Up. Up. And away. Okay. Alright, uh, this. These are fireworks, and you can see a gem in there. Uh, you won't encounter these a lot, actually, and do get away from them when they blow up, because you will take damage. I think they can kill enemies, too, now that I think of it. Let me break these real quick. And then let me get this one. With the... Oh, okay. Now, can we make it over there? Yes, we can, and we need a key. So, I gotta come back here later, because I don't... Honestly can't remember where that key was, but I'm bound to run into it. Alright, and, um... Two, two, two. Two, two. Something you, ba you ballerinas wear. Okay, up here... Okay, I'm actually taking a shortcut, so I'm going to go back this way to get the other stuff that I didn't pick up. You were sleeping on the job, which is why I killed you. Ah, here we are. This is where we split off at. And these vultures... Did I hear laughing? I think I heard a thief laugh for a second. Unless my ears were just playing tricks with me. Okay. Uh, hold on a minute. Is it over here, I think? Oh, no. It's somewhere else. I'm thinking of a particular dragon. There's a particular dragon here that you can get it. It is a little tricky to get, but, you know, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. Ah, you. Boris. Nice name. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. Hmm. <laughs> Yep, good gliders, that's what we are. I like how on my TV screen he was really bright yellow looking and then on the laptop he's just not as fancy looking. Okay, and here... Maybe the key's in here now that I think of it. Well, we have a musket in here, of course. I'm hearing a thief laugh. I don't know if that's my ears or not. Because I feel like my ears are playing tricks on me. Oh, this is where I was talking about a particular dragon. Over here, this guy. This is how you reach him, and how you get the key as well. Maximus. Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled, with a pinch of salt. <laughs> um... I don't think you actually eat vultures in real life, because, uh, you know, you never know where they've been poking their heads at. And, uh, not to mention that, yeah, you just, you never know where animals, especially scavengers, have been poking their heads in. Which is why I don't think they make good meals. Unless you really cook them well to get rid of the bad stuff in them, then I guess that can make a difference. Oh, I almost fell in the tar. Okay, let's see, it's already, been, it's almost ten minutes. I usually don't spend that long in a level, like, 
I've done my predictions already. You know, I think I'm going to get this Let's Play done almost near the end of April. Because, you know, I can just get... Oh! I didn't notice that. That purple gem. You rarely find them, but they are worth 25. And they are great to pick up. 12 lives. Here. Get you. I'll be safe here. You, lower your shield. And, uh... Let's get these gems. And now I think of it, I actually accidentally skipped the chest, I think. Do I still have the key? Yes, I do. Silly me. Let's go pick up that chest. And I can't go back that way, so... We have to go this way. I'm wasting time. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Alright, let's go pick up that chest get the goods and then we return home uh, so how is everyone on this nice fine day of April April the 10th or is it April 10th hang on why am I even wasting time to look oh I'm sorry the 9th This nice day of April the 9th, and ooh, I... Pay attention! I need to pay attention! I'm not gonna make it. Oh, okay. I don't wanna die! I've died a lot of times in some of my previous Let's Plays, and it's time to show that I'm a true player in this sort of game. And did I get everything? Yes, I did. Very good. Alright, let's get out of here. This nice day of April the 9th. I have a good feeling this year's gonna be good for me because not not just like um I don't know like not because of games but because I have a good feeling I'm gonna have a good year okay so returning home and you know what <clears throat> let me lay down 1300 gems all right so before we head to the next level that I plan on going to let's get sparks back to full health Forget about these guys and head to Cliff Town. This is a fun level. All right, let me. You gotta charge them. They have metallic capes. I don't know how you have a cape made of metal. Okay, go over here, get these. Alright, then we have this fat mama sending little pebblor, pubblor. I don't know how you properly pronounce that. I mean, the Spyro Wiki also calls them um, Mama Slaves, which sounds really racist. And, woo, almost fell. This is a Fat Mama. Now, the thing with the Fat Mamas, actually, is that their attacks do no damage, but they can push you off if you're not careful. And also, I just... Yeah. It, it's kind of racist on how they look, the enemies and everything, but it, it's in a funny way, though. Oh, I forgot, you have to flame these cauldrons and you can get gems. Which means I forgot to flame the other one back here. What are you cooking anyway? Some weird soup. Oh, I must have already done that. I'm flaming it if you I'm cooking your soup for you at least. Okay, I got everything up here, so uh let's get these guys. Boy boy! chest there is an egg thief around here but I'll be getting him in a bit and gems I'm leaving treasure behind left and right oh this tar river I'll say this I don't know if I've actually mentioned this I don't want to get too close oh yeah Sparrow's got a little animation when he's near the ledge he's like <gasps> anyway uh, one thing I want to say about liquids if you um Fallen in a liquid, but there's like no way to get out of it, you automatically drown and die. So try not to fall into like rivers or whatever if there's no escape. 
If they offer you a way to get out, then take it. But if not, you're dead. Let's get this guy. Uh, Halvor. How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Remember, Spyro. Flame won't harm metal. But charging with your horns, that should do the trick. He looks kind of like Spyro with the purpling color and everything. Yeah, Spyro just actually proved a good point. How come flame can't melt armor? Science says that metal can be changed and warped through fire and heat. And that guy fell off a cliff and hey, there you are. I was wondering where you were. <laughs> Alright, this thief is a bit annoying because he likes to cut through... Oh, almost had him. He likes to cut through this little pathway here. Wow, he couldn't make up his mind for that small bit. He's like, oh, should I go this way? Should I fake him out? Okay, uh, let's see. Nothing up here. Okay, let's get this chest. All right. Break this. Get unlucky 13. Nothing over here, so let's head up here. Right, there's nothing but fat mamas up here. Do not let them slap you, because if you fall off, you'll have to work your way up. And trust me, I don't like climbing this, these kind of structures like anyone else would. Oh man, now I'm getting a little bit of hiccups. Oh, I was wondering if there were chests down here. I looked for a split second, and I'm like, oh, I didn't see anything. Good thing too, because I don't. Because later levels are going to get bigger and more expansive to the point where I might be in there a little extra longer just to try and find leftover gems that I overlooked. Alright, let's go up here. Try not to fall. Alright, some pebbleors up here. Thought it was just going to be fat mamas. I defeated your kid. Speaking of which, I think that's all the fat mamas and pubalors you'll be me meeting in this um, level. I mean, at least for the fat mamas, you'll see them again. Alright, so we have this locked chest here, so we'll have to find something to destroy it. But first, let's get up... Oh, there's more fat mamas! Okay. Let's get them both at once. Oops. Oh, well. I like it when I... It's funny when you kill, like two enemies at once and just hear the double sounds of their death and let's rescue Enzo. It's like Ezio. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? You don't have to be so straightforward with it, but he has proven a point. If you want to know what's over here, just glide over and find out. And there's sparkles, which means there's treasure. And we have falcons. When I said I called them vultures in the Dry Canyon, I call them falcons in this level because falcons love cliffs. Well, anywhere that's high up is where what a bird likes in general. Oh man, I really need water because I'm drooling as I'm talking. I did have lunch like a few hours ago. Okay, get these guys. You, come here. I remember these things used to scare me as a kid. Just the way they looked and loose to ya. Okay. Oh, and just like Stonehill, uh, this is a barrier, bleh, barrier level. You can get around it, I think, like in Stonehill. It's just a little tougher. Wow, that, you didn't do anything. Okay, there's, I think that's the last dragon of this. Oh, he got me. Is he gonna get on his perch? Yep. Okay, I, oh, nope, there's one more. And I think that's all the treasure I picked up. Oh, nope, thought I missed something. I think that's all the treasure up on this cliff here. And speaking of cliffs, this guy, Marco, Marco Polo. You've reached the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind there. So what he was saying, actually, is that if you ever get off here of this point, uh, well, I don't know why he says this is the highest point in Clifftown. I, I like to say that near the end is, but anyway, if you ever decide to come back up here, and yes, hi, fairy. I don't want to talk to you, though. Uh, if you ever fall off, there is a whirlwind that can take you back up. Like, see? There it is right now. Uh, let's go over here first. Oh, 
man. I gotta hurry with this level because I, I actually gotta go to the bathroom really badly. Okay, get these. I uh, believe there's 400, 500 gems. I can't remember to be exact. So let me head over here because there is a gem. A gem behind the starting area. Well, gems, I should say, but a purple gem, I think, is in here. Yep. Here. Oh, what's funny with these lizards is when you flame them, yeah, they turn to ash. Hey, looky there. Good thing I saw that. Alright, going back up. And, uh, let's see. Let's glide over here. I think I messed up my... No, I made it. Okay. Yellow and... I can't reach that from there. I can either get it from up there, which I would trust, or I can try and, um, get it from the cliff here. I'm gonna try the cliff first. If I can't reach it, then yeah, I gotta get to the top of where the end is. No, I can't reach it. Okay. So, to get back up here faster, there is a whirlwind activated for you. And I'll, there's the rest of the treasure, but I'll get that in a bit. Let's get this firework. I don't know if I went over fireworks yet, but anytime there's a firework, it's usually there to burst open a, you know, a locked chest. I don't know if that's the right word for them. Like a locked chest, that's more like, you know... A chest, a treasure chest, just without its key. Okay. The rest of the treasure should be in here, I hope. Because I don't want to spend the next few minutes trying to find leftover treasure. Oh! <sighs> We're missing... We're missing some... Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're either missing a yellow gem, or we're missing some blue gems. There we go. Good. Goody, goody. Now let's get out of here. Return home, and... Oh, I don't know how much longer I can hold it. Mm. Yes, that's good. Very good. Alright everyone, that will do for this episode of Spyro the Dragon, so uh, join me next time as I do two more levels, and one of them being down there, the Ice Cavern, and another one. So yeah, that is it. I will see you guys next time.